What's up guys? I am back and by back I mean I'm back in Miami. I was in Las Vegas for about six weeks. I was with Athletes Unlimited but I don't know if you guys know this. They have four different sports. They have volleyball of course. They also have softball, lacrosse and basketball and for some reason I was invited to the basketball to do basically what I love to do, which is vlog. I got all kinds of behind the scenes and I was also on the broadcast, on the key cam we're calling it, which I loved. I got to be like sideline, chat to all the players, chat to anyone who was there in the stands. There were some famous faces. And, uh, and also to learn from some of the best commentators in the world. Some of the best players in the world doing the basketball thing, some of the commentators, which I do a little bit of for the volleyball. If you guys know, I do a little bit of commenting for uh, the Italian League and for the FIVB. I just felt like it was an amazing learning experience and uh, also just I don't want any of these clips to go to waste. I want you guys to get a feel for the for what is going to be coming up in the Volleyball League very soon. So here is a little look at some behind the scenes of Athletes Unlimited Basketball. Enjoy. Jade, What's going on? Jade just came over to hang out because she's jealous of the fun Yeah, station. this is the fun station. Is this, was this the best station? What? No, come on. Was it was my station? Leave better? me out of it! <laughs> no. How about this? I'm gonna sing the hook and then I'll do the third start that third first. Are you taking you taking a selfie on this one? Video. Oh video. What's up, y'all? Oh. Oh, you can hear? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, it's great. I feel like a movie star. Yes. Um, look good, feel good, play good. So we look good. You were a natural, first of all. Second Thank of all, you. did you have fun? That's the most important. I part. had fun. I had fun. I really yeah. love. I enjoyed this. The balloons just topped it off. Chef's kiss. I'm loving it. This yeah. is like my element right now. I'm having a blast. It's so much fun, yeah. right? And AU, like, they take care of you. They are. And they're gonna make you look so good. So I, have fun. Everybody looks good on media day, right? Well, they do their more job. than others. They do their job. <laughs> I'm having a great time. There's great energy, great vibes. What more could you ask for? And your dance moves were <laughs> on point. Tell me the, your favorite part about today. Definitely this station. Yeah? Yeah, definitely this and station. Between the cards flying at me, a bag flying at me. Shout out to Shelby. Shelby, <laughs> drop the bag. She dropped that bag. <laughs> no, but it's been a really cool day. We had fun here. Quick reactions. How was your first draft? It was amazing. I'm super excited to be on team DJ Carrington. Our team is lit. Go team purple. I wasn't ready. I wasn't ready. There was a lot of excitement, but you know, I tried to stay calm, you know. Yeah. <laughs> that was so fun. Yeah. Everyone in the Zoom room talking about what they want to create as their team and how we're gonna work together and how we're gonna piece everything together. It was like anxious, like when is your name gonna get called? And then once it does get called, you kinda trying to figure out who you're going to pick next. It's really exciting. It was a fun experience it, to see it live in person. We had a mock draft, so that was kind of different. This had all the, the fanfare in it, so it was really cool. And it can be a little nerve-wracking as the teams are built, but it's fun. It's great to be wanted. <laughs> it was actually very interesting for me to be on, on the other side of it and allowing those guys to just do their thing. And they really got into it, and I thought it was really fun. It, it, it's it's going to be a great week. I was nervous. You got some really, really good, talented captains this week. But it was exciting. I liked the meeting rooms, everybody, you got to see everybody, everybody's reaction. These athletes have just worked so hard and they're embracing creating their own team. And, you know, it's just an awesome feeling to be in there and just help them and watch them listen, learn, and grow. That was so beautifully put. I love that. Thank you. Thank you. CJ, we're twinning a little bit because Twins. we've been in the merch shop. If you guys have a chance to, I don't know, do we look cool? Yours looks much cooler than me because you bedazzled it. Well, that doesn't mean yours isn't cool because yours is cool and all the fans can come up here and like get theirs. It's shop.ausports.com. Send us some photos if you do. What kind of merch you guys get today? Hoodies. Hoodies. We got the same one. The other cool thing about being in the fan shop is if you come by in person, you get to look at the book of unlimited, all of the athletes, unlimited athletes since day one are in this book and the champions have their name right across the top. It gives me chills just thinking that my name is in there. That is so cool. Here at Athletes Unlimited, we have uh, a mini ball. We also have a regular size ball for you to take home, play, give to the kids, shoot some hoops, drain some threes. Right now I'm gonna take this ball and I'm gonna go get it autographed by Cheryl Swoops for Kat Osterman. Cheryl is Kat's favorite player, so we're gonna go and go get something for the homie. Lexi, can you describe to me the feeling of being in the captain's chair? What was it like? 
Um, it was fun. I mean, I, I've always had the dream of being a GM in the future. So that was like my first taste of, you know, GM life and I had a lot of fun. We're on week two, but we've really been playing together longer than that. So we know the players that we kind of had an eye on for a little bit. So it's cool to kind of be that GM person and just make my own little squad. I've never had that experience before. I think we had our eyes on like the same players. Like I knew she was going to get Dijanae back. She knew that I wanted Taj back, so you know, after that, you know, we were just going one after one. And every time I made a pick, I looked over at her and I was like, all right, yo, you go. And then when she made a pick, sometimes she got some of that I had my eye on, and I was like, dang, Taj, like, what kind of <laughs> stack team are you trying to get out here? Jasmine Jackson, softball yes. extraordinaire. I love that. And you just crushed that presentation, hmm. by the way. Thanks. What have you learned from being on the other side of the cause? You and I both got cause when we were athletes. It makes it harder to be an athlete because now working on the back end, I get to onboard like 140 plus organizations and I'm like, well, all of these organizations are amazing. How can I, as an athlete, choose just one? But it's really awesome to have our athletes engage and to learn more about them because they are more than just athletes and everybody has something super, super important to them. So it's really, really fun to kind of understand what makes other people tick too. Because you have your own, but it's, it's really cool to learn about other people. I think causes is one of the coolest parts about Athletes Unlimited and I think also all the basketball players would agree with that. Yeah. Just excited to further reveal for all of you guys to see who chose what cause. Yes. See you later. Thanks see for your work. <laughs> Bye. Hey, you. I was a little late, but once I got in the groove, you know, once you all started playing, I was running up and down, getting some interviews actually in game, interrupting the play to get the interviews because that's how important it is to me. Gilbert, talk to me about what you're seeing out there. Bumping. A lot of bumping and grinding? Very physical game. Oh, oh my bad. I assumed the wrong thing. Hey, tell me, tell me what you're seeing out here, man. Yeah. That's cool. I'll catch you on a different, catch you on a different play. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah, for sure. For sure. Tell me what you're seeing, Tiana. <laughs> but interesting, what do you mean? <laughs> Jelly from the co-founder! You know, Jay's playing great. She told me that I needed to get my rain oh, yeah. Just waiting for her to hit a couple, you know, a couple of shots so I can, you know, put my hood up. <laughs> so is it fair? <laughs> Breaking story, we have a scandal. No, 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 no. We have players no painted cameras, off no cameras, the ref. No, 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 absolutely cameras. You missed a few threes, but Jantel said you did tell her to wear a raincoat. Yeah. Because you will be making it rain. You think you're like, I, yeah, I, I, next quarter. I meant the second quarter. I didn't, the second, I didn't yeah. mean the first quarter, so. Right, 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 right. You for sure. What's the game plan? Are we trying to get the ball to you? We don't have the ball. Run D. Oh, I knew that. Okay, yeah, yeah. How far are you away from the triple double? I don't even, I don't actually know what that means. Ah! So one of the coolest things of AU, you guys get walk-up photos. What are you wearing today? So I got on my Reebok like onesie. I got on my bait and Reebok sneakers. And I got this custom made jacket for Black History Month, you know. But we Black History Unlimited here with AU yes. Sports, baby! Yeah. You know, it's a Kodak moment. We came out here to smile just a little bit, I guess. <laughs> yeah. Nothing crazy. Nippy, the voice, greatest singer right of all time. I got a lot of yeah. Whitney graphic tees, and this one just happened know. to match the fit. I love my girl Lexi, so I'm repping her with the Chicago Sky Championship oh. shirt. Hopefully she'll sign it before she leaves. We'll see. <laughs> you know, some simple pants here, nothing too crazy. And then you gotta rep the Adidas Forum, you know, it's a classic, so nice and easy. And then we got the, I call them my 80s little um, child van glasses right here. This shirt is from my homeboy. His Instagram name is Shop Us Versus Them. Shout out. And these are some sweatpants from Samaria Leah, I think. Shop Black owned. Happy Black History Month. That's right. Mic drop. <laughs> Putting on the Michael Jackson gloves. You got it. Ready for the book. And to respect the Book of Unlimited. That is cool. I'm so excited about the Book of Unlimited. The Book of Unlimited is an enormous tome, 500 pages, a hand-tooled leather, hand-bound book that records all of the athletes and all of the champions that have ever played in Athletes Unlimited. And show me your hands. You can only touch the book if you're wearing gloves. That's very cool. This element is the helping hand wreath. It is five hands of laurel wreath that are joined together in a community. All right, so Andrew's just told me, if I put on a pair of gloves, I can be the first 
person, second person, to ever touch this book? Third person? I think second. But it's I gotta a, put on some gloves. It's an adventure. Let's go. Right. This is very exciting. Ah! <laughs> One-handed. All right, I'm gonna open the book. Here we go. I'm nervous. Should I be nervous? You shouldn't be nervous. Ah, I did a sound effect. <laughs> Guys, I'm here with Antonia, AB's wife, and we're on a super secret mission. Tell me a little bit about your love story. Me and AB are twin flames. When we first met, it was like meeting yourself. We are one and the same, but very much different, if that makes sense. Honestly, I've never felt the way that I felt about AB. For anyone else before, it's like finding a safe place Love is supposed to be a safe place. And if you genuinely love someone and care for someone, you shouldn't have to hide it. And it shouldn't matter what it looks like. And the point of this top secret mission is to just let everyone know that no matter who it is that you love, what the love looks like, you should be able to love loudly. I don't even know what to say because she really just threw me off guard. <laughs> this meant a lot. This really meant a lot. I love you. I love you. You know, we never had like a actual like proposal, so this is totally unexpected. But I'm about to have a great game. <laughs> I'm just feeling complete, honestly, at this at this point. You know, we've been married for nine months, and it wasn't a secret, but it wasn't open, and we weren't out there yet. So this was just that moment to let the world know. You know, I love my girl, and we are together forever. <laughs> and we love AU. Thank you so much. Guys, I did best friends. Yes. PJ, aka PJ the Don, aka Polo Jackson. I mean, really, he's a Yorkie in a miniature Schnauzer mix, so we call him a Snorky. He look a little rough right now. <laughs> he got get groomed, but he's really sweet. He loves cuddles. This is Dodge. I call him Dodgy. He's a Yorkie Poo, which is a Yorkie and a Poodle mix, and he's three years old. And, and he's got his little friends. shirt on. He wears clothes. The property of mine. My dog's name is Kai, and she is a Catahoula leopard dog, and she's four years old. And I've had her for four years. She traveled to Italy with me when I went to go play um, in Sicily. That's gorgeous. Mama. <laughs> gorgeous. This is Oreo. He looks like a puppy, but he's 11. He's super friendly, super fun. Everybody loves him. He has energy like he's two, so <laughs> he keeps me active. Say hi. Hey. She got 30 nicknames. Yeah. Princess. Cranny. Mama. Stinka face. Stinka Stink butt. butt. <laughs>、Yeah. last-minute touch-ups. I'm very excited. I love this location. I think it's so many dope little artsy places to take pictures. I can't wait. Looking at Ty do her fierce face. I gotta get ready. Oh, yes, yes, that's it. <laughs> I can't stay serious long. Yo, know, just getting some photos,、mm -hmm. capturing the essence of our PC.、Mm -hmm. like, it's just really、That's、enjoyable.、Me. It's a lovely day. You all are lovely. Right there, right there, right there. Y'all make us feel so lovely. lovely. How are your photo shoots? <laughs> They are amazing. We have the nice sun out in Vegas with the lovely ladies, and it's given. It's giving. It is giving. It's going well. It's going like I expected. Full of laughs and some good photos being taken. Like I said, it's, all, it's never a dull moment with this group. Jade is coming everywhere. If I need pictures, Jade is flying. <laughs> Period. Go. Period. She's amazing. Y'all are amazing. Alright, if you made it this far, you must be an OG, one of my homies on this channel. This is the kind of content I'm going to be making very, very soon because the Athletes Unlimited Volleyball season is starting, and I'm going to do basically the same thing: take some behind-the-scenes content and also be in the broadcast during the games and chat to the players and people that are in the stands. So I'm so, so, so excited. If you're in Dallas, if you are, just happen to be someone who lives in Dallas, you should definitely come out to one of the games. They're going to be starting. I think the first game is March 16th, and they go all the way to the 
sort of middle end of April. If you guys are interested, you should definitely do it. Otherwise, follow along on this channel if you cannot be there in person. And I'm gonna give you, you know, all the things to see. I don't know, I just had such a great experience of basketball. I cannot wait to do it for volleyball, and I hope you guys follow along. And if you're new to this channel, you know, there's lots of volleyball stuff, so have a have a snoop around and yeah, enjoy. Like